Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, if you noticed, uh, I now have an intro. I made it because I'm very close to 50 subscribers so I decided to celebrate and I made an intro. I was going to make one for 50 subscribers but I got excited and I did it anyway. So I hope you like it. Uh, I put a video up of my of just the intro and it seems to be getting pretty good, pretty good feedback so far. So expect to see it all the time. But today is not a loot crate, it's not a Pokemon card, and it's not an arcade It uh, arcade block. It is another Amiibo unboxing. I haven't done any of these since we got the Splatoon, War Wario, and Pac-Man. Other than that, and then I guess Ness, but that was with Splatoon. But yeah, other than that, we have not done an Amiibo. And today we have Silver Mario. Let's put him right, right move those things. And we have everybody's favorite, unfavorite, hyped, overrated lizard, Charizard. So, yeah. The reason I got these two is because when I was uh, at the store picking up Splatoon and when I got Ness, if I would have had the money, I would have got Silver Mario anyway. Uh, I don't think I'm going to open up Silver Mario just because it's like special edition special silver edition so him and Ness are gonna be two that I don't actually open but Charizard over here he's definitely gonna be opened um so we'll put Mario over to the side for a second get out my blade and we're going to open up Charizard um, I'm gonna put put Mario there so you can look at him uh, I'm going to not make a cut and just open this on camera so if you hear some weird things because they Here's some weird things. That is what it is. Okay. Got the first part done. This one's actually... I do plan on uh, pre-ordering some of the Wave 5 that comes out. They announced uh, Wave 5, uh, for those who don't know. And it has... Hmm. Is it, I'll, I'll look it up in a second. I know it has Zero Suit Samus, uh, Dr. Mario, Bowser Jr., uh, Duck Hunt Dog, Rob, and Mr. Game & Watch are part of the Retro Collection, which I am going to pre-order. So, when that comes out, expect a video for that as well. And it, it's going to be like the Splatoon 3-pack. So, for those who are wondering how I open, I take a, a blade and I cut the corner of the side. Then we just fold it up, and we will take out the beloved pocket monster and then we just take that there put him there close this back up put him there because what we're gonna do what I do with my amiibo at least for now because I think because I'm getting a lot more I'm, I'm running out of room because all we have all I have is uh, all this room right here and it's all for, like each amiibo there's amiibo stacked on top of each other behind these five behind these front boxes um so i'm running out of room so i'm either going to just take them all out of the box again and put them on the desk or i'm going to like get shelving and put them on the wall but what i do is i i take it out i review it and then i put it back in the box and tape it well actually before i do that i take the main reason i open it is because of this thing right here because nintendo is uh nintendo is a great company and they decided to put this thing on the bottom so you can't actually use you have to open it is what they're making you do and uh... Well, this one's taking forever but you have to open it like kinda like how you can go to the store and use a Skylander I'm pretty sure you don't have to open the Skylander or the Disney's Affinity character that's how they have the portals set up at the stores for you to like see what they do um... the reason Amiibos don't is because they, they have like a computer like at least when, when I worked at Toys R Us, they had a computer, and you just clicked on the amiibo, and it told told you what it did. But that's because you can't actually uh, put the amiibo on the sensor because that metal strip is blocking it. But here is Charizard. Um, by the looks of it, you can't really tell that his wings are blue. They look more black. 
But uh, very nice detail on the face and the neck. He looks like I don't know. It looks I'm, I'm not a dragon, but that pos that like crimp in the neck right there looks like it hurts. Um, see if we can get the teeth. Very nice. Um, back pretty much just orange because it's Charizard. I wish was a shiny Charizard. That'd be pretty cool. Black. Very nice fire. Um, the horns are pretty cool. Uh, if you watched my, uh, um, should there be Pokemon Amiibo video, I talked about these guys, and if there was to make Pokemon Amiibo, I would want them to redo the Pokemon, just so these guys don't feel left out. Uh, let me spin that fast, and then we're gonna try to get this... This is if you have the uh, Mario Party 10 uh, Mario, you have this one. So that's like it's pretty. This is the exact same thing as the Mario Party 10 Mario, just silver, and it's the same one as the gold edition, just not gold. So if you wanted to make your own, I have a feeling all you need to do is get silver paint or gold paint, and dip it in the paint uh I would never do that just cuz I'm, I'm weird like that that's me that's the main reason like I haven't bought the uh Super Mario regular Mario I haven't bought any of the Super Mario besides Toad uh but this one just cuz it was different I got it I wanted gold Mario but I wasn't able to but yeah uh Expect a video next month. I think um, the retro three pack of Duck Hunt Dog, um, Mr. Game and Watch, and Rob come out on the 25th of September. So I probably wouldn't get the package until I don't know, maybe the 30th or the beginning of October. And then if I can, I'm going to get Dr. Mario because Dr. for some reason, Dr. Mario and Duck Hunt Dog are the two amiibo I want the most. Besides Ryu, Mewtwo, Ness, and Roy. Well, not Ness, Lucas and Roy. Uh, Duck Hunt Dog and Dr. Mario are the two I want the most. I may get Bowser Jr. if I can. Um, but the main two I want out of this next wave is Duck Hunt Dog and Mar uh, Dr. Mario. And since Duck Hunt Dog comes in, comes in the Retro 3-pack, obviously going to get the Retro 3-pack. I don't know... If all of uh, if all of uh, Mr. Game and Watch's <clears throat> holy crap, if all of Mr. Game and Watch's forms are in the retro three pack, because if you watch my uh, video where I talked about the E3, the E3 bow, um, it shows that Mr. Game and Watch has you can take him off the little re uh, reader and put in different poses since he's literally that thick. But yeah, if you guys like this video if you like my new intro let me know uh i what i wanted to make my own but i had to get a pre-rendered one because i don't have the software or the knowledge to know how to make my own uh the, the one i was going to make my own is probably not as cool as the one i have now but maybe one day i'll make the one i want and i'll compare them and i'll let you guys choose but Thank you guys so much for watching, for supporting the channel, for doing everything that you lovely people are doing. We are almost at 50 subscribers. We're, as of recording, last time I checked, we're at 42, which is amazing. I did not expect any of this to happen. Like, I know I've said this a bunch of times, but on my last day of class in May, I said, I want 20 subscribers by the time I go back to school. Since then, I've gotten... 32 that is 22 more than I expected to get in three months and it's amazing you guys are the greatest people I know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my name is Camp Counselor Cody and I will see you guys 